Good afternoon. I'm Pastor Chad McKenna here at St. Mark Lutheran Church in Rockford, Illinois. And I want to talk to you today about something we're doing um, to be able to provide communion to you all as we seem to be approaching another season of exclusively online worship. Uh, but a little um, history on that first. So back in March, when we first had to shut down because of the coronavirus, we thought we'd be out for three weeks. So we just thought we could take a quick fast from communion. And then it went into Easter and into April, and we thought maybe this will be done by May. And every month we just thought maybe it will be done soon. And we thought we can just continue to fast until, even if we have to wait till late summer to get back to communion, we will. And that's essentially what we did when we came back to our outdoor worship and we were able to commune, even though it was only one kind with just the bread, we were still able to return to communion in a way. I don't think any of us foresaw this pandemic continuing on um, well into the fall, and now it seems like there's no end in sight. One thing I don't want to lose now is, is the way we commune together and share this common feast. I've talked to um, lots of different pastors. I've listen to webinars and theologians and lots of different perspectives on how we do communion in a virtual setting. And at first I was very apprehensive about the idea, strictly from a theological standpoint. Communion is something that we don't do as a private devotion. It's something that we do as a community. It, it brings us together as the body of Christ. Now I know there are exceptions when we, when we bring communion to someone who's homebound, uh, that that can be seen as private devotion. And in a way it is, but it's also an extension of what we are already doing when we come together for worship. In many churches, consecrated elements are taken right from the table and brought to someone's home. Just like you might bring leftovers home from a date night home to uh, some children at, that you have uh, waiting for a delicious dessert as a gift that you've brought from a, a wonderful restaurant. This is an extension of the feast that we share together. To extend that feast, I don't want us to simply have to sit at home and open up our pantry and see what kind of bread or if we have any red wine or white wine around and if we have a, a clean wine glass um, or a plate and get everything ready just right. Communion shouldn't be have, to, have to be something that we rifle through our own pantries to provide. This is something I've, I've said a number of times already. And so, because of that, because it's something that we come to, uh, to the table to receive this gift, not because of anything we've brought or anything we've done, we simply receive this gift as the hospitality of the Lord's Supper. We here at St. Mark have I've come up with an idea that um, I've sort of gleaned from a few other pastors around and, and saw what they're doing, and, um, and so I'm really excited to show you what uh, the Altar Guild, the Worship and Music Committee, the Council, and the staff have all been working on so that we can be prepared for this. So I have here a home communion kit. Now, I'm going to bring it close so you can see the label here. As you can see, this is called our starter kit. Sorry, kick the tripod there. Um, we have one per household, please. It has a chalice, a paten, 20 wafers, and a bottle of wine. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. So inside, first you see we have our, our bag of wafers. There will be about 20 in there. The idea is that we give you enough communion supplies to provide you um, for about a month or so of worship. Inside we have a bottle of wine. Now they're going to be color-coded, uh, red for if there's wine inside, and, and there will be blue labels for if you'd rather have grape juice with you. Um, so you can take your pick. Usually we have de-alcoholized wine here in worship, but since we can't get small bottles of that, you can choose between wine or grape juice. Now this is the part I'm excited about. We have in here small little patten and chalice. Now I'm going to bring these close again to you. So you can see here, it's just lovely little communion ware for you. I'm trying to frame it just right for you to share. So you can put your wafers on this, put your chalice on this. You want to take your stickers off of this and give them a good wash just like you do with any new dishware at home. And so when you come to 
watch an online service with St. Mark. Um, you can, as you're getting ready, take out as many wafers as you need. Say there's two people in your, in your household who are worshiping that day. You get two wafers. Say you wanna, you've gotten the wine, so you wanna pour a little wine into your chalice. And then you have it ready on your coffee table, on, on, on a coaster, on your ottoman, um, just sitting right next to you uh, in, a, in a place that it won't spill. You just get it ready before the service begins, or if it comes time for the communion portion, uh, during the anthem you can get it all prepared, or you can even hit pause. Um, and you have it ready, and um, when the pastor uh, indicates this is the body of Christ given for you, the blood of Christ shed for you, you can take communion. Now, the reason why we're giving you all of this, like I said, is so that you don't have to rifle through your own pantries for the communion ware, for, for the bread and the wine, but also we give your, we're giving you these things as well to, to elevate this beyond just an ordinary meal that you have at home. This isn't something that you're eating on your own dishes, uh, but it's at St. Mark's communion ware that you are um, using. Uh, we're asking that at the end of all this, when you're able to come back to worship, that you bring these back. If uh, you'd rather keep them with you, because I, I anticipate that we're going to be doing online worship um, indefinitely um, to, for those of you who are unable to come into worship for whatever reason. Maybe there's just one Sunday that you are under the weather, so you stay home and you're able to watch worship from home. Um, and you can have this as well with you, so you can commune from home, especially if you're, um, if you're in an extended homebound period. So you'll bring it back if you think that you're not at that point, and you can um, return it to the church, and we can use these in other ways with our communion, our shared communion here at St. Mark. When you're starting to run low on supplies, you can come back to receive a, a refill kit that again has a single bottle and a bag of wafers. It won't have the communion wear because you'll already have that at home. Now, I, I'm posting a link in the description to a blog post I'm writing about all of this. Um, so you can read through it a little bit more and have it in writing. These are going to be available starting on Monday, November 2nd, so that we can have communion during our online worship starting Sunday, November 8th. Uh, these can be available to pick up in the church office from 9 to 1 on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And on Wednesdays from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. You have all day to come by and stop and pick up. If you're still unable to come to pick up for whatever reason, just simply call the church office and someone will uh, willingly and gladly bring it to your home as, as a home delivery sometime during the week. We have lots of volunteers who are excited about this idea and who are more than happy to bring these elements to you. Not just this one time, but whenever you need a refill as well. Now, um, if you happen to not watch the service live, say for whatever reason it's Sunday afternoon or evening and you just remember that, oh, we need to watch worship, and you go and watch the recorded version, or maybe it's Tuesday evening, it's your first chance you're able to sit down as a family and worship together. You can still do this. It doesn't have to be live right in the, the moment. Whenever we commune together, as has always been true, we are not simply communing with the people who are present with us in the room, but we are communing with, with all Christians around the world who are communing at that same time, and, and all Christians throughout time who have ever shared in the Lord's Supper. So for that reason, I, I don't believe we have to be 100% live. There's even a 15-second delay anyway, uh, just because of the way, the nature of, of live streaming. So whenever you watch that week's video worship, you can commune and know that you are communing with us. I hope this not only gives you some, some comfort in your faith, but it also, you, also connects you to, um, to the reality that Christ is present in your life and also brings you together with all of God's people as the body of Christ. I'm looking forward to being able to continue to commune with you even more so, I'm looking forward to the day that we can come together in this sanctuary once again and worship with one another and commune in the same space as we share God's love with one another and get up and take it out and share it with the world, just as we have been these past eight months and for our entire lives. God bless you, and we'll see you soon.